Well, paying taxes should not be difficult or dangerous, but pot shops say they can't write checks because banks won't do business with them. Now a change is in the works to reduce the risk for everyone. They have to drive sometimes many hours to get to a location, uh, a county location or a city location, to pay their taxes. Armored vehicles like this one carrying tax money. It's proof the danger is still very real for California marijuana businesses and people who live near them. So you have stores with cash, and then you have at times warehouses with cash. And the amount of cash that they have is just very difficult to secure. Assembly member Phil Ting introduced a bill that would let marijuana businesses pay their city and county taxes with digital currencies like Bitcoin. The goal, less cash moving around and one less tempting target for thieves. It's dangerous enough transferring our product around. It makes it doubly dangerous transferring all the cash around. Christopher Cohen's company, Total Leaf Incorporated, distributes cannabis edibles and oil in January, he told us about the thieves who stole $80,000 worth of products and cash from his Sacramento warehouse. After it happened, he pulled out his wallet to beef up security. Steel doors with cameras, with alarm systems, with fencing inside, with bolted down safes, um, and it's expensive. The danger extends to everyone who lives near these businesses. A small cannabis store, just like a small storefront, but they're in a residential neighborhood. They're they're. People who live there are all, all around. If something happened that was potentially violent or dangerous, there could be repercussions for that neighborhood. Now, if the new bill becomes law, cities and counties would choose whether to accept digital currencies from marijuana businesses or not. It could happen as soon as 2020.